Hey, what's up, y'all? So this is my review of the Avidar C3 City electric bike. This is a mid-drive electric bike, so the motor is actually in the middle of the bike, and I'll talk a little bit more about what all that means here in a little bit. Um, but this bike comes in two different sizes, medium and large. I have the large version here for myself. I am six feet tall, weigh around like 220 pounds, so this one fits me the best. Um, and this bike does come in two different colors, black and blue. Hopefully you don't fall off the bike and turn black and blue, but that hasn't happened yet, knock on wood. I don't have any wood, actually there's a tree over there, but I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, also this bike does have a max weight capacity of 220 pounds. And with me being 220 pounds, I'm right on target there. Actually, I just ate, so I'll probably weigh around 225. But anyway, 220 pounds is the advertised maximum weight. Now this bike also comes with a rear rack, so that's convenient, and also it does come with two fenders, one on the front wheel and also one on the back. Now my rear fender was damaged in shipping. I actually think it was because it was left on the wrong side on the back of the box for a little bit of a time, like two days before I can go pick it up. Um, so mine actually cracked off. It still works, but the tail end of it is broken off and the company offered to kind of replace it. I said, don't worry about it for now. Now on the front, you will find a decent headlight, but the good thing about the headlight is that it is able to adjust to the lighting conditions that you're in. So if you have plenty of light out, it doesn't need to turn itself on. But if it does sense that it's getting a little dark, it can go ahead and do that. So instead of you having to press and hold down on the plus button on the controls, it can just do that automatically. Now on the back of the bike, you do find a red reflector, but I really would have liked to have seen some type of tail light or even a brake light. So when you press down on the brakes, it will flash or just do some type of indication to let people know behind you that you're braking. I, again, I know it's not really necessary for all types of bikes, but that is just one of my personal preferences. But yeah, what do you think? about the design of this bike let me know in the comments below i really love this black and red color combination and this bike is a little bit of a stealthy e-bike because you don't have that motor in the rear wheel where it's kind of obvious that's an e-bike with this mid-drive motor being in the bottom middle of the bike it's a little bit more stealthy than normal um, i could probably use a couple of more tie downs here on the front to be able to tie these cables down i wish that was already installed but i can always do that afterwards if i really needed to um, and also you'll find most of these cables are integrated in the frame of the bike to make a little bit more of a clean look now up on the handlebar you do have a decent amount of grip here on the handlebar grips and also on the right hand side you will find the shifter controls for the two by eight chain ring setup here with the shimano derailleur so you have a total of 16 gears eight for each chain ring which gives you a lot of control uh, when you are riding this bike um, but then also on the left hand side you will find a uh, lcd display which is a color display and also it is rated i believe ip67 uh, for water resistance so that is decent and below the display you will find the controls to be able to switch between the two chain rings now on the top of the down tube you will find a place where you can attach something like a water bottle holder and then back up top with the seat it's a little bit skinnier for my particular taste I have a big butt um, but um, it definitely has a decent amount of cushion on it so when I did have to ride on it it was comfortable enough for long enough uh, but I definitely would be switching this out for a bigger seat all right so now let's take this bike out for a ride and talk about how it is to ride this bike now this bike does come with a 250 watt mid-drive motor now the difference between a mid-drive motor and a regular hub motor that I typically use on my e-bikes when I'm doing my reviews that are typically located in the rear wheel, the mid-drive is actually located right in the middle of the frame of the bike. So it's basically connected to the crank set that you have. So where your pedals are connected to, to be able to you know, allow that chain to get moving. Uh, this uh, mid-drive motor and that is all going to be working together. And typically you get more power and more torque with a mid-drive motor versus one with a hub drive motor. So um, this mid-drive motor does have 80 Newton meters of torque, which is plenty and really good for 250 watt. And then you throw in the fact that this bike also has a torque sensor, which allows the pedaling to feel way more organic and natural. It's a very smooth transition as you're pedaling. Uh, all of this combined makes this 250 watt mid-drive motor feel like, I don't know, maybe a 400 watt motor, maybe even more. Now, I don't want to get super technical. I don't know for sure, but basically it just allows me to have a decent amount of power. And another advantage that this bike does have is a two by eight dual chain ring system. So basically I have two sets of gears, one smaller, one bigger, and I'm gonna switch down to the smaller one now. And this is level one. And this basically allows me to be able to get up a hill like this with a little bit more ease. And the advantage of having these dual chain rings is basically that you have a little bit more control to dial in, you know, the exact gear that you want with the particular terrain that you're on. Oh, and another advantage of this mid-drive motor is that since it's not located in any one of the wheels, uh, it makes your tire changes a lot easier. So you can change out the 27 and a half by 2.1 inch 
tires on this bike uh, very easily because they both have quick release systems. So you just need to drop down this little latch and then now you can go ahead and replace those. Where typically with like a rear hub motor, you have maybe a one or two cables you need to um, take apart. And sometimes it might be a little bit more difficult, but this makes it a little bit easier. And now I'm gonna hit this bump. Woo. All right, so that was a, a nice good test and a couple more good tests here of the front suspension that you do have on this bike. So no rear suspension, just front suspension, decent amount of travel with this. Um, it does support lockout and also you can uh, uh, adjust it with preload as well. And this bike also does not have a throttle and you won't find that with most mid-drive motorbikes. So just pedaling only. And as far as the range, this bike does have a 360 watt hour battery um, inside of it that's rated to get you up to 60 miles. But of course the actual range you get depends on your weight, terrain, wind resistance, all of that good stuff. Um, but one good thing is that the battery only takes around four hours to charge and the battery is removable. So use one of the two keys to take out the battery, take it aside and charge it if you want. Um, also conveniently on the uh, kind of the top of the battery, you do have a uh, battery status indicator so you can quickly kind of get a glance to see how much battery you have. All right, so now for my speed test and because this bike does not have a throttle, this is just gonna be using pedal assist and this bike does have five levels of pedal assist. So let's get this thing going in three, two, one, boom. All righty, get a little bit of a workout in today. So we're at 10 miles per hour on the uh, my GPS app on my phone. And I think we're at 20 miles per hour on the bike's display. Now we're at 20 on the uh, GPS app as well. And I don't think they actually say a speed, a top speed on the company's website. Let me fix the camera a little bit. All right, now let's go. Full throttle here. Well, not throttle. <laughs> Full pedal. We have 24 miles per hour. 25. Nope, we got 24. We'll get 24.9. Woo. All right, now let's test out these hydraulic disc brakes. Woo. Yeah, very good braking too. All right, so the brakes feel good and also 25 miles per hour is a really good speed to have for a 250 watt motor, but it is a mid-drive motor. So again, you are getting more power than a traditional hub motor, but yeah, overall the braking and speed is good. And so yeah, this wraps up my review of this Avidar C3 City bike. Now, if you want a bike that's a little bit more geared towards like off-roading and mountain biking, they do sell other bikes on their website that kind of target that demographic. And I think they also have like a sport version um, of this bike as well. Hopefully I am correct on that. Um, but just as a city bike with this 250 watt mid-drive motor, I feel like I have enough power for all of the different types of terrain that I'm usually going um, across. And also I'll drop a link down below in the description for this bike if you do want to check out more information about it. And also make sure you hit that like button if you did like this video and also that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload another bike, like another e-bike video or an iPhone video or whatever else I'm going to make. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.